A new season means a new set of weapons, and surprisingly, there's actually a handful of ways that you can breeze through leveling these up once you complete them in the battle pass with season three. Today, we're running down the best ways to rank up your weapons. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. How are you liking the new weapons so far? Enjoying any? Maybe not so much. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. As well, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay today with all things Warzone, season three, and even now, officially speaking, Modern Warfare 2 content for those that missed the announcement earlier today. We'll keep you the day with absolutely any and everything in regards to Call of Duty. So if you're interested, I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, in celebration of season three, and coincidentally, I'm adding it to the list in celebration of Modern Warfare 2's announcement, my friends at G Fuel have bumped up code Espresso to 30% off your entire order. So if you'd like to try something out for the very first time, grab a restock, whatever the case, now is as best a time as any. Saves you a decent bit of money with each order. Personally, Pink Trip, Strawberry Banana, Hype Sauce, the new Morbius flavor, and probably Starfruit are my top five right now. All phenomenal choices, but check them out in the description below if you guys are at all interested. But that's it, let's jump into it. So when it comes to leveling your weapons, we're pretty much set in stone for what we know here, and we have been for a little while now. But the reason that I want to revisit this topic here shortly for season three is that right now there's an even better way to do it by comparison, a way that will let you max out each weapon in a few matches, maybe like two hours for both of the new weapons. But honestly, you don't have to do just these new weapons. If you have any weapon from Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Cold War, or Vanguard that you still need to rank up, this is seriously a great way to do so. And honestly, when it comes to leveling, it takes a little too long as of recently. So to shave off as much time as possible, this is absolutely something that I would love to do and hopefully can help you out. Now, let's keep it on the down low. Don't wanna bring too much heat to this that it gets fixed, but right now, Caldera Clash is your TDM-based mode that sees you in a 50v50 match in a small section of Caldera. Kind of high action, depending on if you end up getting towards that sort of mid-range of the map. If you're back in your spawn at your sort of safe zone with that, you're not really gonna see a whole ton of action, but once you get up to mid-map, that's where you're going to see a ton of gunfights. And with it being TDM-based, you're likely to jump into those engagements a little more. So instead of your normal maybe 5, 10, 15 kills on average you get per match in BR, maybe even plunder, you can easily get 20, 25, and 30 up. Plus, there's contracts that give you bonus XP for completion for, say, completing bounties with your weaponry, or even if you just have that weapon in hand when it's completed or poached. Each contract multiplies that reward, so you'll end up getting more and more XP for completing the more of them you do, upping that ante for that overall weapon XP yield. But then you add in the fact that right now, it's also a max XP event, meaning that on top of the kills, on top of the contract completions, you're going to get more XP by default for your overall rank, weapon rank, clan rank, operator ranks, and battle pass ranking across Warzone and Vanguard for this season three launch. But get this, it's still not done because right now, I'm not sure if it's clash only, but it's definitely the easiest way to do it here at this. Double XP tokens actually stack on top of this max XP event, meaning that you'll end up getting at its base, fundamentally quad XP for your weapons if you pop a weapon XP token. Four times at its base, then add the kills in, the contracts, with the in-game multipliers getting even higher and higher for completing more and more of them in-game. You have so much XP, and doing this myself, you'll get like 15 to 20 levels each game you play here. And so whenever you end up putting that into a cumulative total or something, you'll end up being able to max out a weapon in like an hour, hour and a half or so, depending on what pacing you end up going for. So it is something that you absolutely should take advantage of this while you can right now. One thing to consider is that if you are going for contracts as well in Clash, this also goes for like your traditional contract farming, which we'll talk about here in a second and other plunder methods. Point Man is a useful perk that you can run to increase those bonuses for each bounty or other contract completion. So if you're going to complete them, it absolutely helps. Maybe consider that. But if you don't get many done, the differences will be minimal. So you might not need to take it. So right now, absolutely take advantage of that one. That is probably by and far the best method at the moment. But like I said, it's probably going to be patched here soon. And of course, Clash isn't going to be around forever. In fact, it's only here for this first week of season three. With what's detailed up through the mid-season update by Raven themselves coming at the end of May, likely, it's actually the only time we'll see this here at the moment. And let's be honest, Raven's pretty quick at patching up things that aren't technically supposed to be that way, no matter how fun and advantageous it are. So what do you do if you don't necessarily catch this wave of quick ways to rank up your weapons? Well, there's still a plenty number of different methods at their base that can help you out greatly. Honestly, one that if you want to stick to Warzone is still, I think, the best one outside of when anything is bugged is the traditional contract farming method. It's a great way to kind of just shut off your brain and hop in a Discord call with your friends, listen to a podcast, watch a TV show, whatever the case, and you can just grind out your weapons kind of mindlessly. Now, this is something you'll want to double 
double XP token active. Obviously, that goes for basically every opportunity here at this. Or if it's during a max XP event or double XP event like we have right now, you just want to make sure that you're hitting that two times bonus at minimum. Rebirth Island is perhaps the best for this. And the nice part about Rebirth after the Rebirth Resurgence event with season 2.5 this past season, we've seen plunder and respawn modes come into play on Rebirth, not just Caldera or previously in Verdansk. And in fact, next week, the week of May 5th, Blood Money Quaz is going to be active. So what you want to do for this is find your supply run contracts or bounty contracts, whatever you feel you can complete the easiest and the most in a given match set time. You want to do that with a double XP or event XP token active and just grind through those. Supply runs, if you land on a helo, you'll zip around rebirth with absolute ease. And so long as you got into that helo with the weapon that you want to rank up, so long that it's stowed as that sort of primary, all you have to do is just land, tap the buy station, you're good to go. You don't even have to get out of the helo and it will credit your weapon rank. Same thing, of course, can be done in Caldera, but because it's a bigger map, it's more spread out. Buy stations mean more time in between things like your supply run completions, though though Plunder won't be back in Caldera until the week of May 11th, so you've got time to take advantage of this on Rebirth come next week as well. But that's a phenomenal option, and then we kind of get down to the more basic stuff that really just comes down to playing your games and how much you can efficiently manage your time, how well you can play with that weapon and such. Vanguard multiplayer, I don't know if it's ever been actually confirmed, but I swear that when it comes to regular base weapon leveling, the primary multiplayer experiences for Vanguard Vanguard, Cold War, Modern Warfare. I feel like they might be slightly tweaked. I don't know if it's a tinfoil hat theory or something like that, where they might be tweaked where they do give a little bit more XP over time by comparison to the same amount of playtime in, say, Warzone. But Vanguard multiplayer, things like your shipment, DOS House, and the new map of Mayhem are phenomenal maps to play around with because you have tons of action. The more action you end up getting, that's, of course, more kills with that weapon, more capture points with that weapon out, and it all ends up accumulating into more XP for that weapon. Though, if you're not really too fond of Vanguard multiplayer for these particular Season 3 weapons. Vanguard Zombies is also an option, though again, it might not tickle your fancy too much. That is something that still that 35 kill method is very easy to do and is something that you can turn your brain off. It's pretty droning, I will say. It's kind of boring to do, but it's effective in which all you have to do is go in, get 35 kills, back out, start a new match, get 35 kills, back out, start a new match, get 35 kills, and so on and so forth. So if you can deal with that monotony, again, that's a great way to do it if you don't want to deal with, say, skill-based or retention-based matchmaking in traditional multiplayer for Vanguard, or if you don't want to play Warzone, or if you just don't find any of the modes fun in Warzone at that time, whenever you try and rank things up. So that said, just wanted to revisit this topic of discussion here, give you guys some brief rundowns on some great ways to maximize your XP yield in either Warzone or Vanguard to rank up either these new weapons or any weapons that you may end up having still on deck for any of the COD games that are connected. So that said, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Just wanted to fill you guys in briefly. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you guys ranking up these new weapons for Vanguard Season 3? Do you not really care too much about them? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Warzone, Vanguard, Season 3, and even Modern Warfare 2 content. Still feels surreal to say, but hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see the video. All of that. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.